If Jesus were walking on earth today, what would he look like? I picture him in Levi 511's stone wash to match the clouds and sky in heaven. Chuck Taylor's on his feet, high top version folded down with a crease, cause my picture of Jesus in today's society will look unique. His t-shirts would always be short sleeve because his long sleeve would be tatted Bible scriptures with a hat saying John 316, but this is just my picture. You may picture him as Jesus the rebel, riding around on a Harley Davidson playing a song called Down with the Devil with a new apostle spreading love into environments that are hostile. Or maybe you know him as Jesus the healer, because when you were sick in the hospital room and they said you were doomed, you called out his name and the flat line started to change to where it now looks like rolling mountains, with your heartbeat now pounding all because you kept pronouncing the name Jesus over and over on loop, on repeat, taking a backseat to a driver who knows these streets. I'm just saying. Or maybe. You know him as Jesus, the risen savior, who set you free from a prison you called behavior that brought hurt, worry, pain, struggle, and Jesus stripped off that muzzle so you could confess that he was the missing piece to a puzzle in your life called bless. You're the one he wants to get connected to, and if he called your number right now, what name would pop up if he's texting you? Who is it that protects you? From a world that is tailor-made to fits in yet rejects you. As a woman, as a man, and a world that promotes talk to the hand instead of extending one. Knowing we're all hurt yet sometimes we're pretending fun does not come with a consequence. So what is the name you say in utter confidence? Is it Jesus, the teacher, son of God, or neither? Whatever it may be, have you used it lately? Is it in the tip of your tongue, in the depths of your lung, in the beat of your heart? Is it seen through your art? Because whatever it is, it's important that you use it. Because in that name comes freedom, healing, everything worth feeling, everything that's appealing as he's peeling off all the bad and replacing with all the good and love that he has. There's nothing he can't fix, as it says in his word in Matthew 19:26 that with me all things are possible. So don't let you not forming his name around your mouth be the only obstacle. Who is Jesus to you?